Hey guys, this is Mike here. Uh, in today's video, we are going to show you how you actually uh, actually upgrade the SSD and as well as the RAM for this uh, model. It's HP 14. And this is running on Ryzen 5 chip. So ultimately, um, there are slots for you to actually upgrade your RAM as well as the SSD M.2 slot for upgrading your uh, SATA SSD as your primary boot drive other than rather than the hard disk, which is located okay here, right? So in today's video, I'm just going to show you how you want to open up the bag so that you can do your uh, upgrades. So there are two screws here as you can see, one or two. And there are some screws hidden within the sledge itself. So you need to pull out the sledge from here. So logically, you need some tools. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to basically peel off the rubber strips here. So you can see, you can just pull it out easily. Uh, then you just stick it up to the side here. Uh, then you just get the screwdrivers. And I screw all the screws itself. So logically, just choose the correct size screwdriver. Uh, what I'm using will be yeah, this. Yeah, this one is fine. So we'll just open it up. Put the screw aside. Okay. Once you have the screw removed, you'll need to pry off the. Uh, side here uh, you'll need some tools for this okay guys um, I realize there's another screws here so make sure you unscrew this as well uh, if you don't break your laptop itself so you need to unscrew this as well put it aside okay, before you do this you would want to get some towels so just in case uh, this you are going to open up from here you can just take down from here these that thing so it's better for you to put a towel to protect the computer from any uh, scratches and stuff so what you want to do is to actually there is there is a gap in between where you want to open this up so that you can put it in. As you can see there there is a gap. If you can just put your fingernails in, you can basically just start to peel off the thing behind. Right, the hardest part will be the back, the corner place. You can use your fingernails to do so. I can use some of the tools that you have. And make sure that it's not a it's not a hard tools and stuff. I think the same thing goes to this side. You need to put your, tip your fingernails in to actually hold up the stuff, right? Okay, so ultimately, once you have it, you should have something open. So, like I said, uh, it can be your fingernails or pry tools that you have. Uh, it's actually slotted back in. So like here it's already open, so you can actually just uh, do it using your fingernails if you need to. Else you use a pry tool like this, just to don't hurt yourself in the, in the process. So you just need the pry tool just to start up all the remaining stuff, remaining clips that is available in the laptop itself. So ultimately, one side is done, you can actually move on to the other side. Uh, just make sure you do it uh, in a careful manner and don't break anything in the process, right? Um, like here, you can just put a pry tool in and start prying up, open, open up all the, the necessary areas, right? And by the time when you do this, uh, you should be able to lift off the thing easily, right? So once you have this panel removed, as you can see, they are, they are, this is your hard disk bay and this is your RAM slot bay where you can have additional slots if you want to for the RAMs which I've already upgraded uh, you go nearer to it and this will be your SSD drive that you can upgrade M.2 slot that is available so this is your Wi-Fi so ultimately, the things that you can update here would be the RAM itself as the SSD Okay, so once you have everything done up, like here, you, there's extra slots for you to put in your RAM, uh, put in the SSD, put the battery, uh, put in the hard disk. So these, these are all the stuff. So remember, just remember there are six screws. Uh, I missed out one earlier. There's three on top, there's uh, two in the bottom, and one in the strips in the middle as well, right? So as you can see here, yeah, there's another screws here. Right? So there's one, two, three on top, two at the bottom, and one in the middle here. Right, so make sure that you open up that as well. So once you have done with your upgrades and stuff, um, this this laptop is actually pretty good. Um, basically, when you buy a base version, they might just come in hard disk and four gig of RAMs. 
uh, but they can upgrade to yeah, like here. I upgrade another 8 gig here, so I got 12 gigs of RAM and SSD 240 SSD um, WD. Uh, this this slot doesn't support M.2, it only support uh, SATA SSD. So just make sure that you buy the correct uh, slots for that. So what's, once you're done with everything, you can just close off this thing and make sure they snap in place uh, correctly. Right, make sure they snap in place correctly um, before you do anything. Right. So just snap, snap it on correctly, make sure that everything snaps in place. Right. Uh, yeah, make sure everything snaps in place before you screw it back. Right. So what you want to do is you make sure that um, you open up the side again. Make sure everything is snapped in properly. Front side, I see it's snapped in properly. And also the side here is all snapped in properly. Once everything confirmed, you can close off this thing and you can start screwing back all the screws into the notebook chassis itself, right? So what you want to do is to just put back the screws in and screw it in. Like for this, you just make it like tight. You need to be super tight, super tight. And just uh, put, put back the strips for this, right? Of course, what you want to do is to try to make it uh, as nice as possible the strips to ensure that everything is in place but here now you have a very good strip here and you just unscrew back the bottom two go back the bottom two and you're all done okay and we are done so what you want to do is to put back the strips to this Make sure they are all in good, good place. Uh, just try to start off with this and make sure that this thing goes into the hole as well. And make sure everything is in place. Uh, yeah, like this. Make sure that the, the strips are in place correctly. So once that is done, then we are more or less done. <laughs> So yeah, guys, that's how you do an upgrade for this laptop itself. Um, yeah, you right like the laptop. I think this is a pretty good one. Um, it runs on Ryzen five mobile processor. Um, you can upgrade to like up to sixteen gig of RAMs. I think uh, this one is up to twelve. And you have M.2 slot for SSD and hard disk slot. And overall, the package is not uh, too heavy. The build quality is is okay. It's pretty good. And uh, yeah, I think if you want a budget. Laptop, uh, this is a pretty good one. Yeah, if you want a budget laptop and a uh, useful one, this is something that you can consider, right? So that's all I have, I have for this video today. If you like the video I'm doing, please do subscribe for any future updates and do ding the notification bell for any updates that I have in the future, right? So I'll see you again. Ciao.